Okay, printing out of Infusionsoft has always been has always been problematic, basically, because it generates quattro size things. But if I'm in a contact record and I actually want to print a label, for example, if it's a one-off uh, printing a label, then I get my kind of label um, shown up like this. Um, now the problem is of all these Avery sizes is they're they're all US, of course. So if I just ignore all that and say um, print, then it's going to go ahead and and open that in a uh, Word document, it just used the default, so this kind of doesn't work now. Um, but if I know, for example, what the width of my Avery label actually is, so I can just change the column widths there, um, and then if I select the entire table and change the column height to whatever the actual Avery sheet that I'm using is, then I've kind of manually just adjusted this. now. Obviously, this nothing's going to print on this sheet. I could, uh, if I wished, go ahead and kind of delete those rows out if I wanted to. So yeah, I've got to manually change this label size. Um, but I actually, I mean, I, it's not that bad. I, I do know the label size because I know that from the Avery sheet um, specifications. So I can get this to you know to print okay. Now, obviously. The formatting you've got to you know use the right size labels I happen to this happens to generate a three column but if it's not a three column that that gets generated you can just kind of go ahead and delete that column there and you know make these whatever they actually uh, not height width whatever they actually are on your sheet okay which you will know you'll know precisely because of the sheet will tell you and then so we've manually set it up uh, reformatted it and then you just go ahead and print that and that would uh, actually work so it's horrible it's a horrible workaround but it can be done and obviously if you're doing mass labels you it generates the same thing and you just have to change it around uh, before you print it